Yo, yeah. I want to show you some footage from the trial of Darnell Brooks now. He was there was a parade going on in his hometown of, in Wisconsin, right? Apparently he got he was angry with his girlfriend, got into an argument with her, and I guess due to that rage that he was in, he decided to run over innocent people at a parade. He ran over about eight people and killed them. Including okay. including a child. So I I don't I'm not playing this to make you sad. I'm playing this so that you can you know, we need to be more proactive when it comes to these weirdos in our lives. They give us plenty of signs, so we need to always be prepared for them to do weird things. But I'm showing you this just to show you a true psychopath that looks like a normal guy if you've seen him in real life. I mean, he doesn't look like a normal guy, but you know what I mean. Bruising around both of his eyes. He had a large bruise to the left side of his forehead. He had undergone a craniectomy. I'm not going to play anymore because it's too emotional. She starts to cry. But basically what happened is the young boy's uh, skull had internally snapped, separated from his spine. Tell us about you that. You ever heard a car hit a, another car or a, an abutment or a deer? Did anybody say? Hold on. Every this guy right here actually witnessed the defendant running over these people and he's describing the sound and basically describing how it, he, he was literally like so close to it that he, he could touch the he's just check it out check it out please you've heard it um i watched the body fly up onto the hood and her head snapped back and the body remained on the hood as it passed the side of my vehicle to where I thought I could have just reached out and grabbed him. Stand down. I'm not going to address it any is that, further. Is that verified proof? Can we address subject matter jurisdiction and still has to be proven for the record? I decline to do so. Ah, uh, yes. The so originally it was we heard sounds like thuds, and then it was in the air um, like bowling pins. And not only. She's talking about when the people were hit by Darnell Brooks. Now, um, hold on, man. Let's just watch this guy a little bit more because this is just, man, a psychopath who can't control his anger over his girl decides to, to kill an entire family full of middle-aged and older senior citizens and a child, people who are out enjoying a Christmas parade. Coach. You're assuming they spoke to them and coached them. It's obvious. I'm not I'm not stupid. Well, I disagree with that, sir. We review when Waukesha Parade defendant Darrell Brooks, who represented himself. Decision. That's how I'm addressing this. And then I'm going to have the jury brought out and just providing courtesy copies to the parties as I uh, had an opportunity to finalize that over the break. Uh, set for value and retire for value is documented. Thank you for noting that. All right, bring the jury out. State has its next witness, I presume, ready yes. to go? All right, when the jury's brought out, you may call the witness. Is that verified proof that you have subject matter jurisdiction? The decision and order speaks for itself, sir. Is it verified proof that you have it? Sir, I believe it answers your questions. I, I don't believe Unequivocally. So. There's no ver verified proof proven yet. And you know that bailiff is sitting back there like this damn man. If I had just a second with this guy, you know, I mean, hopefully this guy got, I mean, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm going to say allegedly or, or hypothetically, he should get what he deserves. You know, if this were like, you know, uh, a work of fiction, you know, but in reality, you know what I mean? This guy right here, man, angry at his girlfriend, just so happens to be in the vicinity of a parade, decides to run people over because he's enraged crazy man and when he was getting interrogated he told the cop what if it was my mom's car that i was driving but somebody else was driving so the car that he used was his mom's car wow 